This is the State Farm Post Game Show. Boy, what a gutsy win by the Kansas City Chiefs, folks. We couldn't ask for better. They will return to the AFC Championship game for the third year in a row as they take down the Browns by 5, 22-17. As we welcome you back inside of Studio 43, as we welcome you to the State Farm Post Game Show. And a reminder, tonight on CBS begins with 60 Minutes and the latest on protecting the inauguration. That'll be followed by new episodes of NCIS Los Angeles and NCIS New Orleans. Plus NCIS, that's tonight, only on CBS. Back here with the full crew as we get set to bring you up to speed for what was an outstanding day with this game here. Boomers, we take a look at the playoff picture now. What's coming up next for the win? Well, you got the Buffalo Bills now coming to Kansas City. And this is going to be great. And the Kansas City has punched its ticket all the way to the AFC Championship game, as you can see right there. Presented by Intuit TurboTax Live. The Chiefs will host Josh Allen and company next Sunday right here on CBS. And then in the NFC side, Aaron Rodgers and the Packers await their opponents for next Sunday. And that will be the winner between the Buccaneers and the Saints. And that game will kick off 640 Eastern on on Fox. And I have to tell you guys, so many things happened in the second half. First of all, you know, we all hope that Patrick Mahomes is going to be back sure. next week. He's got to go through the five steps, steps of protocol with concussion of hope protocol. I believe he'll play against the Bills. I really do. Uh, the second thing is, I don't know what Kevin Stefanski was doing, challenging a play there, losing a timeout. And then they wasted another timeout after they got the first down on the quarterback sneak. And by the way, Andy Reid is the freaking man. This is why you go for it the way he did, especially when Chad Henney has his backup quarterback. You know, I think when you look at this game, the resiliency of the Kansas City Chiefs, we all think it's about Patrick Mahomes. We think it's about mm. Tyree Kill. But, you know, and it is about Tyreek Hill and Travis Kelsey. But Williams, Joe you know, Williams comes in and, and brings up an unbelievable game in a running game. But you're right. It goes down to the, the calls that Andy Reid made in the final minute of that game is the confidence he showed in his team. And he was playing to win, not to lose. You know, he did what a lot of coaches would not have done. I mean, I sit here, I would have used the clock and I would have punted. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. Um, Andy Reid is a unique breed, and I think that's why players play for him. That's why they love him. That's why he's the defending world champion. Well, let me say this. All the people, you rested the players. They have so much time off. It's a good thing they rested all their players week 17. Chad Henney got the play. He played the game, got some experience, and helped him in this game here. Look at the last drive, the plays he made, third and four. Throws it to Darrell Williams, big first down there. And then it's third and long, mm -hmm. third and 14. Man coverage, Chad Henney, nobody open. Pulls it down and gets it that close. And this play here, they're going to run. This is the play they love to run under pressure. They did it against the Miami Dolphins of one at the end of the game. This was ready. That's why Chad Henney on fourth down was in that shotgun because they've worked on that play and done it so many times in the game. Six of eight for 66 yards. The interception, we got to admit, that was really bad, but he surely made up with it for it and the plays he made in that last try. No doubt about it. And like you said, Boom, we hope that Patrick Mahomes is all right. We do hope that he plays. We have a tweet from Patrick Mahomes, who, of course, was watching the game, and it says, anything is possible, right? <laughs> That's great. So everybody uh, great. taking they, a they, shot. They, yeah. As you continue on, but isn't that an indication of a team-oriented attitude by the superstar? No doubt about it. I mean, he's sitting back trying to figure out if he's going to be healthy, if he's going to play next week, but still cheering for his teammate, Henny, and everybody's going to have a shot at Henny tonight. But for, for when, it comes to, <laughs> when it comes to that, that that last play call, though, fourth and inches, right? You have a quarterback who threw his first playoff pass in a game. He throws an interception, which was bad. And in that moment, we're all sitting in the studio, and we're saying, okay, what is he going to do? Is he going to try to draw the defense off sides? I'm yelling, get, in the, get, get under center, and let's do a QB sneak. And, and coach, you're saying, well, let's just punt the ball. Put the defense out there. All of these decisions that we claim we would have liked to see in that moment, and Andy Reid said, you know what? I got faith in my backup quarterback. I got faith in Tyreek Hill. And we are going to complete a pass, not a run. We're going to complete a pass to ice the game, which is so Andy Reid in the Kansas City. We've team. seen so many unique plays from Andy Reid in big games, Super Bowl. But let's go back to week 14. And you watch the Kansas City Chiefs trying to end the game. There it is, the exact same play. A little inside Tyreek Hill is the third guy in. Yep. He breaks out, quarterback rolls right and. So they got all these plays. It's just part of their offense. So, uh, like you said, Andy Reid, great job of orchestrating special moments. He never does the ordinary thing. Yeah. Think of the Super Bowl. Every time there was a big moment, he did something that was the four-top spin 
uh, the options. Travis Kelsey is a Wildcat <laughs> quarterback. He's always ready for these. He's getting excited, Phil. Yeah, 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 I had to get up. You know, my, at a crazy hey, I got to get Coach Russell. Russell. We got the matchup now. Kansas City, Buffalo, your preliminary thoughts there. Well, I mean, listen, uh, Josh Allen with what he's done, I mean, he is literally the run game, the pass game, the whole offense. Mm -hmm. And you're going up against now, if it is Patrick Mahomes, we saw him, if it's a concussion, they've not diagnosed it as yet that. But if it is that, we also saw him early in the game, it looks like he had a turf toe or jammed his toe. So when you look at it, it's... Uh, you know, I mean, it's it's a lot of injuries right now for that man right there, for Patrick Mahomes. This is early in the game. You're going to see right there, he kind of jammed his toe right there. You can see oh, right yes, there. Yes, that was it. And and it's like a turf toe. It was nagging him the rest of the first half. So there's some little things about his mobility. But he is a tough guy. But these are the two quarterbacks right now, two of the best quarterbacks in the AFC. There you see him doing a little bit of a Chad Henney right there. And then uh, going off the field. So, um and then he had this injury. This is what got him out there. You see right here the possible concussion. Again, he's not been ruled with that. He has all the diagnoses of it. So we'll see what kind of protocols oh. he goes through. So it looks like mm. one to me mm. right there. But, you know, again, I think I give a lot of credit to uh, uh, to, to Andy Reid with this team. I, I want to go back also and just say this to Kevin Stefanski. I know, like you said, boom, at the late in the game, a couple of uh, timeouts were probably inappropriate to use. I think the one he couldn't see, but the one with the, you know, having to call him because you didn't get to play in on time. Yeah come back to haunt him. But what he has done with that football team, for them to be there in the fourth mm. quarter with a chance to win a football game, you know, he has reestablished the culture in, mm. in, in Cleveland. And I give a lot of credit to Kevin Stefanski for a job well done this year. And remember, the Chiefs played the Bills already and at week six. Yep. And the Chiefs basically ran all over Buffalo. Now, I think Buffalo's got a, a smaller size defense, but they're a fast defense. They're a fast, So, yes. and one of the reasons they're a fast defense is you want to go against a fast offense like the Kansas City Chiefs. It's a track meet. <laughs> <laughs> and you saw Jadavius White yesterday basically block Lamar Jackson on that 101-yard interception return. So the speed is there for Buffalo. The size, well, they're a little bit smaller, but they are athletic. So I think this should be a good game. Buffalo will play different on defense. They'll have a different game plan. Yeah. That's what I love about them up there. They're willing yeah. to change every single week. And one position we haven't talked about today, the Kansas City defense yep. never gets any publicity, yep. but they did a look what they did up front with their big guys. They stopped the Cleveland running game. And Tyron Matthew came yeah. up big once yeah. again, uh, yeah. looking at the eyes of the quarterback, at that big interception off Baker Mayfield. And Josh Allen, he's been doing a, a good job of taking care of the ball, but if they can force him to turn over the ball, then the Chiefs will have a good chance of winning just like they did today. Yeah, Chris, All the challenges that Nate does have, we know being clairvoyant is one of those because he just set up the interview that's coming up with, of course, our Tracy Wolfson, who caught up with after the game, Mr. Tyron Matthew. Wow, Tyron, congratulations. How about that play call from your head coach? Hey, man, that, that's why we love Big Red. You know, he's always on time. You know, um, he's like our spirit warrior out here, you know, behind the scenes. You know, he's always firing us up, but we, we always know he got one play in the table, you know? <laughs> well, he definitely did. 22-17, a chance for the Browns to take the lead. Your quarterback, your leader in the locker room with a concussion. What can you say about the defensive effort down the stretch there? Well, we're, we're one team. You know, we're one heartbeat. We play for one another, and that's really all it's about. So I think anytime any of our teammates go down, we always feel the need to kind of step it up a notch and, you know, take care of what we need to take care of. But, you know, I'm proud of the D-line tonight. They, they play strong in the trenches. That's a good Browns offense. Um, I'm proud of a lot of our guys today. They all stepped up. Um, so uh, we're on to next week, though, Tracy. You are <laughs> up next on this Run It Back Tour. The Bills coming yeah. into town. And I know you guys beat them week six, but they are 11 and one since. What will it take to stop them this time hey, again? Great, great team, Tracy. Um, big time quarterback. Got playmakers all over the place. A, a really, really good defense. Um, so we're going to have our hands full next week. It's all about team, though. It's all about us continuing to commit to each other, continuing to prepare the right way, and, uh, you know, just believe in our coaches. We got some of the best in the world. Enjoy this one, and we'll see you next week. Thank you, Tracy. Got a little laugh there, I think, when we were listening to Tyron Matthew in the interview. He says, Big Red. And, of course, that's Andy Reid. And, you know, what he does in big moments, he doesn't rely on the players. He relies on himself. He puts them in. He calls the play, and the design is so good 
that the players can't mess it up. Does that mm. make sense? Yeah, that's every time good. when they get in these things, these situations, it's a unique play. I thought the best you know, point. I thought the best point you made, honestly, was the fact that Chad Henney got the chance to play in their final 17. game. Yeah, and that was big because it did show itself today. And you know that is a think about that moment for a second. Oh. Here you are, you're thinking maybe Andy's going to you know try to get them to jump offside or something like that, and all of a sudden in comes Sprint right Z out. Yeah, yeah. And they're like really okay, <laughs> and here's your backup quarterback that makes the play of the game. I mean, it was just, it's so great of Andy Reid to be that aggressive when everybody else is zigging, he's zagging, he's always thinking ahead of the, the curve, especially when you have a team like this, and he did this with his backup quarterback coach. I thought my other point was really good, but go ahead, Kevin. That was, you know, <laughs> this is to your first point that they, it, it, uh, you know, the players can't screw it up. Well, they can screw it up. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, well, you uh, know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, I just go looking ahead. You're thinking about two of the most exciting receivers in the game. Tyree Kill and Steph Diggs. Stephon Diggs. Ooh. I mean, we're going to see these guys going back and forth. Two guys who want the ball, and if they don't get the ball, they'll let you know that they want the ball. For sure. <laughs> so, you know what? And they got two quarterbacks, and again, we're hoping that Patrick Mahomes can play. This would be a really good offensive showing that we're going to have in this AFC Championship game between these two teams. And shout out to these two coaches, McDermott, who is yes. uh, clearly uh, one of the coaches who could be up for Coach of the Year. And back to Big Red, though. Like, when you think about the, the plays that we compliment during the game, the crossing routes yeah. by Tyreek Hill, Travis Kelsey really doing whatever he wants in between the hashes, that's skill set. <clears throat> but what makes this team dangerous, this offense dangerous, is that their scheme over sk yeah. skill set. And that's what that last play was. Yeah. It wasn't the skill set or the speed of Tyreek Hill. Yeah. It was the scheme drawn up by Andy Reid. And, and, and the guts to call it. <laughs> the yeah, guts to guts call, to call it. it. It's, one thing, oh, to call, man, it's yeah. one thing to see in practice, but go ahead now in the fourth Bill, quarter. Bill, he's been making these calls for yeah. so long, he's yeah. immune to the yeah. you know, of, of the guts or whatever. He, and, and, and everybody would die. You know, if Andy Reid calls it, it's got to be right. Yeah. yeah. Right? Because that's the credibility that he has right now, and good for him. And it's just like, I keep my fingers crossed. I think he's going to play. If yeah. I had to give, if I had to bet a million bucks, I would bet that Patrick Mahomes will play next week. You got plenty of those. Another nugget. On, on Big Red, he's as film. calm as they come. And let me tell you something, this is his eighth conference championship. Big Red wow. can coach. Back with more after this. This is the State Farm Post Game Show. That week was up. Welcome back to Studio 43, State Farm Post Game Show. Next Sunday on CBS, Chiefs take on the Bills for the right to play in Super Bowl 55. The AFC Championship game presented by Intuit TurboTax Live kicks off with us on the NFL today. That's right. Next Sunday on <coughs> CBS, no question about it. We will be here. Can't wait to see the Buffalo Bills versus the Kansas City Chiefs in Arrowhead Stadium. And, Coach, let's give you a first crack at this. You're the Buffalo Bills. You're going in. Uh, what are you telling your team as you get ready to practice to meet the Chiefs? Well, listen, we're preparing for a Kansas City Chief offense. You know, I think you take a Patrick Mahomes, he gives another dimension to it. But as you can see right now, Andy Reid's going to run the offense, whether it's, <coughs> whether it's Patrick Mahomes. And you have enough weapons there. Again, Darrell Williams came in, Travis Kelsey came in, Tyreek Hill, Nicole Hardman. Um, they've got enough weapons right there to get it done. So, you know, you're, you're going against not just Patrick Mahomes, you're going against an offense. I think with Patrick Mahomes, you're thinking that you need, you need to extend that defense a little bit longer. But also on the other side of it, just remember, last time Josh Allen he in that week's uh, sixth game yeah he only threw for 122 yards against this Kansas City defense so the defense of Kansas City has given them some problems Tyron Matthew as we just looked at we saw him near the end of the this game. is a different Josh Allen though man yeah, this, this, it, yeah. it's gotten better as the guys this season has gone on no doubt about it and that Buffalo Bills defense very opportunistic yeah. I mean guys like Tredavious White when that ball is in the air these guys aren't DBs these are playmakers and wide receivers yeah. uh trying to make a play so I feel like going into this game the Buffalo Bills are going to, have to figure out what game plan are we going into this one with? Are we going in to, to bracket Tyreek Hill and, and maybe put one-on-one -on -one coverage on Travis Kelsey? Are we going to play more zone? Are we going to bring pressure, try to get the ball out of, uh, of the quarterback's hand quickly? And to be honest, you might have to game plan for both quarterbacks because we don't know what's going to happen with Patrick yeah. Mahomes right now. Well, I know this. Buffalo, went up. they're a different football team now on both sides of the ball than they yeah. were in week yeah. six. They gave up 240-some yards rushing because that's the way they played. They're not going to play that way now. And Josh Allen, he threw for 120 some or whatever, he's going to throw for a lot more this time because they've did, they've turned the offense over to Josh Allen 100. Mm -hmm. We saw that the other night. Uh, 
last night, I should say, the way they played, and, and I think they'll play the same way against Kansas City. They've also found more playmakers, too. Guys like Gabriel Davis are complimenting yeah. Stephon Diggs. The great thing on our side, we got the two best teams in the AFC. We got the one seed and the two seed. Yeah. Now we get ready for the two seed and the five seed to determine who is going to go to Lambeau Field next week. Two great quarterbacks, Drew Brees and Tom Brady. Can't wait to get it on. Championship Sunday. Yes, baby. Exciting. Hey, my guys were helping me out as I was struggling down the street. <laughs> Guess what? We got you we'll back, We'll be ready Jamie. next Sunday for the game. See you next week. <laughs>